I'm Judia Chavez. Welcome back to Little Fish in a Big Pond, a support guide for actors by Lizzie Maxwell. And today she shares with us her thoughts on union versus non-union. Getting into the union, as you probably know by now, is a catch-22. You have to book the job to get into the union, and you have to be in the union to book the job. So how does this work? Well, there are a few ways to get into the union. One, you can do extra work and hope that you're thrown a line which would taft hardly you into the union. And these days, you can earn SAG, Screen Actors Guild vouchers. A number of SAG extras are needed on SAG shows, and if they're short or for other other known reasons, an assistant director may take pity on you and give you a voucher. And if you get three vouchers, you're eligible to plop down your money to join. So you can do that or you can join AFTRA, the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, by just paying them money. After a year with AFTRA, if you get a job, you're eligible to join SAG. I happen to be a member of both SAG and AFTRA, and let me tell you, the union is definitely a big benefit for me. Now, once you're a SAG or AFTRA member, you must cease all non-union work. You're not allowed to do non-union work. That's the rules. Now, if you are going to do non-union work steadily, you might want to rethink joining SAG or AFTRA until you have to. You will have to join on your second union job, though. Many union actors change their names to be able to do non-union work. But if they get caught, it's hell to pay. So just don't do it. Now, there is a lot of non-union work out there. If you know where to find it, your best resources are the trades and the breakdowns. You can log on to some sites. You could also make a modest living and gain a lot of experience and credits doing non-union work. If you are in an independent film and you hit it big, you just might make a name for yourself. The breakdowns, by the way, are pages of roles available in film, television, theater, and commercials sent out each day to agents and managers. I wouldn't be in a hurry to join the union, though. It, it is true that you're thought to be more legit if you are in it. It's expensive to join, and again, you'll have to cease all non-union work. Union jobs are very hard to come by. There are so many actors vying for each job, and casting directors are using name talent so they can rely on these people and the people they trust. Now, the little guy like you is very lucky to get a feature or a co-star role. Guest star roles are usually going to major TV or film stars. So you don't necessarily have to sleep with anyone to get yourself into the business or to get your union card. You can do it by actually working. For the most current union info, visit the union's website, SAG or AFTRA. And remember, remember to follow your dreams. I'm Judy Chavez. We'll see you next time on Little Fish in a Big Pond by Lizzie Maxwell.